Okay, Google. Movies of 2016. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Hello there, online world. Welcome back to me, not to you guys this time. Um, I'm so sorry that I've been away for so long. And yes, I will try, 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 try to post more frequently. You see the lighting is better, yes. The background is different because I did move earlier this year. Also, I am coming to you today with my favorites from 2016 because we are in the new year. Happy New Year! Woo! So, let's get started. So the first category that we're going to talk about is movies. A ton of great movies came out this year. I saw a few of them. I don't really go to the movies that much. Typically, I go to the drive-in. But I did see Trolls. I did see Don't Breathe. And some others. Oh, I saw Keeping Up with the Joneses. And a few others. Um, oh, gosh. What's the one with the kid? The one with the kid. The kid. Max. Max. Max something. Max. Okay, Google. Movie from 2016, Max. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Max movie from 2016. Max Steel. Got it. Okay. So, I saw Don't Breathe, Max Steel, Trolls, and Keeping Up with the Joneses. And I have to say that my favorite out of all of those was Max Steel. Um, it was kind of like a Iron Man movie type-ish, um, except that Iron Man, like, basically if you saw the movie, um, if you didn't see the movie, actually, it was about a boy who his father was an alien, but his mother was like a human. And so he was trying to protect his whole family from like the evil aliens or whatever, which his business partner turned out to be working for these evil aliens. But it wasn't like any weird sci-fi stuff. It was actually like really good with somebody. Somebody just texted me. So it was actually really good in regards to like being an action movie kind of mixed with sci-fi or whatever. Um, all the actors and actresses were really well in the film and I'd have to say that out of the movies that I saw out of 2016 that Max Steel was my ultimate favorite. Next we're going on to music. Um, so I really got into some newer music this year and I have to say that out of all the songs that I've listened to Mercy was like by far my favorite I'll link like not link but I'll list everything that was my favorite like in the description box of course um, but Mercy like by Shawn Mendes that was my favorite song out of this entire year I don't think that I heard it enough I don't think they played it enough and I probably, like, am in the late plan as always, but Mercy was, like, my favorite song. Now, we're going to go on to, um, like, beauty products and perfume. So, um, I've had this perfume literally for four years. Like, it's crazy. I got this perfume for my 16th birthday, and I'm still using it. Like, it's just now getting to the better end. Um... And it's not even new, obviously, because I've had it for four years, but I typically don't wear a lot of, like, scented things because of the fact that I live in Florida and there are mosquitoes and I get tore up by mosquitoes. Um, so, 
I used this perfume a lot in 2016, of course, with like all my Bath & Body Works products, but I love, 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 love how it smells. It is my favorite, um, besides all the Paris collection from Bath & Body Works, and it is just this right here. It is the Jordan Sparks perfume, and this is what the box looks like. And this is the most that I've ever used it this year out of the entire four years. And I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. I'm going to have to go see if they're still making it and get some more. And if they're not making it, then I need to buy some on Amazon because I just don't know. <laughs> I'm going to need some more. So that was my favorite perfume. And for hair products, I would have to say that um, I am natural, and of course, you know that this ain't real. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I think you guys have seen my hair, like, not done before. And typically, I really don't do anything to it. I typically use Cantu, um, and the brand, it just, it looks like this. It's all shea butter product. And this is the... Coconut Oil Shine and Hold Mist for Natural Hair. And because, like, how I have my hair in twists right now, I just like to spray this on my scalp to keep it moisturized. And this is what it is. It comes in this size bottle. It doesn't come in any other size bottle, but you just spray it, like, on your hair to give it a little shine, a little moisture. And for shopping for like clothes and stuff this year i not really went shopping um but i have been to the hsn outlet which here in florida it is in brandon um but those are you can get like really cheap prices on things that like really good and nice from clothes to appliances to suitcases to anything like they have everything and that's really good I don't know if they have anywhere near you guys wherever you are but I don't know look it up you never know so this year was the first time that I ever had acrylic nails and if you follow me on Instagram or snapchat I think I may have posted a photo on Facebook um, it might have been to my private account, but if you follow me on any of my social media, <clears throat> then you would have saw that I did get acrylic nails, and one time I got, like, not the almond shape, but, like, the rounded shape, and I'll probably, like, put a picture somewhere on the screen so you guys can see, um, but I got that shape, and then the first time I went, I got, like, a square shape. Um, and the next time I go, I want to get a coffin shape. So, coffin was, like, <clears throat> my favorite shape for acrylic nails of this year. So, for shoes, I was really into, like, the Uggs booties and the, like, the crisscross shoes. And I'll try to put a picture of that somewhere on the screen. Um, I did get my shoes from a store that is, um affiliated with Burlington Colt Factory. It's called MGM and I will put that link down below. I would try to find the link of the shoes. I did not buy them online actually. I bought them in store and I did get my like Bear Paw is the company where my Uggs came from. Um, I did get them from the HSN outlet that I mentioned earlier. So I would try to put everything listed down below. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video of my favorite things of 2016. I hope you have a very, very, very happy new year. And let's give this video a thumbs up for being the first video of 2017. And also, if you did not know, I do have a vlog channel. You can go subscribe to that. The link is always down below in the description box. And I should be posting a new vlog soon of my New Year's Eve. And as always, subscribe right over there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.